how to give Jeremiah the Messiah benefit of the doubt. Escape your fantasies that you're targeted by the United States government through Keith Ellison, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump. I had to escape that little old me was bigger than I actually was, and I'm trying to get drunk, but I think they're not giving me enough alcohol because they've seen how I've acted, and I literally did try and slice my wrist. I go back to uh, 2013 where I wrote an email sitting at 3625 Oliver, and I wrote down four cases, and I sent it to a congressional leader who I didn't know happened to be married to a school board member that I could have been suing as a group of people I didn't know. And I thought that family then targeted me. And they were already targeting me, believe it or not. I started to have fantasies that they tried to kill me. 2003, using a Head Start bus, Michael Cooper Sr., right? Where me and Shannon Little Michael was supposed to be on that Head Start bus. Willie Fort. That's what I started to imagine. Jesse Ventura under you. That through Margaret O'Sullivan came as I sat at Express Scripts and fought an EBD label where it should have been other health disability based on a Dr. Chadwick who refused to give me the proper label to get the proper services where a white boy named Atley Riley and Amy Jane Getz didn't want to believe that the Courage Center in Golden Valley lied. They said it was me. So from 2003 through 2004, I was targeted me and my children, right? I said, had we been on that bus that day, we might have been dead. And my, my uncle told me, he said, Sharon, God didn't like you. That's why you weren't on that bus. And that hurt. That, that, that stuck in my gut for years. Just like he said, well, you're not going to be paid for the accident a year later. He said, if it was me, I would fight you tooth and nail. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was my fault or not. I got insurance for that. Prove it. And I proved that woman was illegal coming down at me, making a left hand turn without the light and rammed into me and fucked me up. And I told them people, I said, well, they said, Sharon, if there's nothing wrong with you, you would be responsible for the bills that you incur from the accident. I said, well, I don't know if there's nothing wrong or not, but this is what I got going on. And Jane Murray said, well, I don't believe you because I was in an accident just like you. It wasn't nothing wrong with me. And I kept going to Northside Chiropractic. I did everything Northside Chiropractic told me to do. And that doctor said, Sharon, I don't think there's nothing wrong with you, but I'm going to send you for an MRI. And it said I was fucked up as far as I knew. So from that point on, 2004, me and Express Girls, I tried to keep my job, go to work. Michael Cooper Sr., Amy Jane Getz, anybody else judging my black ass, Joshua R. Williams, as again going through traffic in that, you know, car. Did I have a car? How was I getting to work? How did I get to work after that? Because I still I kept trying to go to Express Scripts, didn't I? How was I getting to Express Scripts after my accident? I can't, my Ford Focus, they settled with me real quick. Blue book value on my car. That's how I was getting express scripts. My daddy co-signed. And as I'm trying to work, as I'm hurting, as they're telling me there's nothing wrong, but there is something wrong. Took till 2008 for me to fix my arm, not my back, right? Northside chiropractic said there was something wrong with my back. 2004, 2005, but I complained of my fucking arm the most. Didn't I, Dr. Norberg? I complained of my arm in order of what hurts your black ass most, Sharon. Tell me. I said it was my arm over my back. Didn't I? Even though I'm going to chiropractic for my back from the car accident where the woman slammed into me. Right? As I was trying to go to work at Express Scripts, being little old me. I didn't even care how I looked. I just had to have casual business attire. I wasn't trying to attract no attention. None of that. They sexually abused me then, and they're sexually abusing me now. And I'm having a meltdown. Why? Because I think they're underhandedly trying to settle these deals through Access, Tanya Bransford, Bobby Joe Champion, and a few select other people. So I'm trying to get through my day, Michael Jr., Michael Sr., anybody else who wants to know.
case, you know, the 664-5000 number wants to hang up on me some more. Case Paul Thiessen of the Minnesota Department of Health, Keith Ellison from Eastside Neighborhood, want to meet me at one of these little corners where we can discuss, you know, certain things about Sharon's sexuality, you know, because I think they gave me testosterone. I, st I started to think they gave me Shantex, testosterone, Adderall in liquid format through weed because Michael Cooper Sr. said I was so high, Doc Norberg, Doc Pinto, I didn't understand shit, so they went and they operated on me and I feel screws, and I, yeah, I did try and make them do an MRI, I sure the fuck did, that doctor knocked me out for days, <laughs> so I want to die, I'm scared of their doctors now, I won't even go ask for help anymore, because that day I just wanted an MRI to see if there was metal in my body, where I thought they got an illegal grant from, you know, the University of Minnesota through Keith and Bobby Barack, sexually violating me for years, Jesse Ventura, it was harder for me to just think about my kids. It was a bigger pill to swallow that the Department of Human Services to Tanya Bransford, Keith Ellison, Hall, Franklin, Doc Brown, nigga, 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 nigga. Is that what they called you as you was going to school so you feel old, nigga? So you took it out on me and my children? Hmm. Nah, I didn't want nobody operating on me, Doc Pinto. I said that. Did they fix the nerve damage or did they make it worse? Huh? Did you make me feel better with your pharmaceuticals that I didn't need after you gave me a surgery through Jackie Baker and them because somebody said I was too high to know what I wanted, Doc Norberg, Doc Pinto, as I sat there and clearly discussed what I wanted? Violation of my rights to the Minnesota Department of Health, who I said in an earlier video, using records from when, what, 1615? They started taking biopsies of me, blood samples, piss samples. The only thing they didn't have was motherfucking hair. They got teeth. For my children, when did you get hair? Was it from the comb, the garbage? You had a complete, complete motherfucking medical history from the time we were motherfucking born. I'm a, I'm a uh, special kind of person. Now I didn't want to meet Barack. I didn't want to fuck Barack. I started saying they were targeting me from an 8-4-2014 goddamn, you know, Imaginary thing from Keith Ellison, right? Could have been Keith, could have been Barack, could have been Bobby, could have been Ilhan, Andrea, Michael Cooper Sr. If you look at my Facebook page, you'll see where I documented it over the years. I said they owed me $3.4 trillion. That's what I said, Mike Jr. I didn't put a dollar amount on it when I went after him for Shayla. 221. Is that DSD? Etc. 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 Doc Davis, hmm. you and Rakshana Pricey Sue just want to knock me out and give me some teeth now, and I'm gonna wake up and feel better. Medicine women, reality show Harpo. Will I have enough money to forget all that, Mom? Hmm. You sure? You sure? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. So I wanted to die, and they mock me. They mock me on their phone. Right, son? They mock me. It's fun and games for them. I couldn't even smoke weed after my daughter died. Axis said, well, let's try taking her weed from her and giving her something different. Maybe that'll help. That's what they said, right? So they did. And what happened? I documented it on Facebook. Didn't I, Doc Rev? Mac. Doc Rev Mac. You want to be like, oh boy, Dr. Rev McAfee. Dr. Rev Witherspoon. So I said under, you know, that fake-ass church shit where Pastor Barnes had that soft, pretty, pink funeral set 